This is the Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 60 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Uh, let's start by creating a cylinder right here. Bring it out. Raise it a bit. Give it. Oh, 20 segments, rotate 90 degrees, and just center it up. Okay. Uh, give it a gray color. Convert to editable poly, polygon. Select this, select this. I want to inset that a bit, extrude it a bit. Uh, next, select that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge, and loop. Okay, deselect that edge, and deselect that edge, chamfer. Give it a small chamfer, polygons, edges, chamfer, chamfer that as well. Okay, uh, next. We're going to want to actually let's pull that out a bit and uh, create a box from about here to here. Bring it out. Convert to editable poly. Select the polygon here. Bring it up. Edge, select that. Ring, chamfer. Give that a chamfer. Okay, and next select uh, this polygon, select three of these, and extrude. You're going to want to extrude it kind of high, so pump up the extrude there to about 11. And select this entire thing and just actually yeah, rotate it a bit. Okay, select the polygons again. Go into your uh, four view mode here. And hinge from edge, pick hinge right there. And just equalize it so 30 looks pretty good. Then scale it down. Okay, give it a. Uh, Bevel, inset, increase the size of the inset a bit, both ways, and extrude that a bit. Okay, actually select those, they're kind of a bit big, scale them inwards a bit. Okay, edges, select. Uh, the outer edge there, hit ring, and deselect these, and chamfer. Give it kind of a big chamfer. Okay. Um, next, select a cylinder. Mm, yeah, cylinder. Place it in the center there. Okay. Increase it and uh, convert to editable poly polygon. Select this, um, inset it a bit. Okay, uh, extrude. Okay. Um, now let's do some bevel work here. All right, looks pretty good. So this will be able to uh, hold on here. Oops. Let's 
So this is going to be able to lower up and down and move side to side. Actually, let's I'll just leave that there for now. It doesn't work exactly the way I want it to, but eh, it could be rigged, I guess. Well, yeah, let's rig it. Select this, polygon, grow, deselect that. Just press delete, border, select this, cap. Okay. Uh, get a cylinder. Create a cylinder right here. A bit bigger than that. And decrease the height. Okay. Convert to editable poly polygons like that edge and that edge. Inset. Okay, and extrude just a bit. Okay, edges chamfer. Okay, select that edge and that edge. Then select this edge and this edge, loop, chamfer. Okay. Uh, next what we're gonna have to do is let's see here. Um select this, go to look at constraint and select that. And hmm. interesting. All right, uh, link this to this so that rotates there, and then select top three polygons here, extrude, extrude a small extrude, go into this view here, and uh, rotate that so it's straight up, okay, polygon, select those, just scale them right down, okay, and uh, scale them in a bit. Bevel, you're going to want to decrease the amount, like so. Inset, and get a bit wider, a bit longer. Extrude by a bit. Okay, next, create a cylinder here. Kind of, you can actually go off there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, convert to editable poly polygon. Select this, and you're gonna want to bevel it so it looks like uh, you could turn it. Okay, there we go. We have a little platform thing. So that we can move that. Oops. Move that and move that. Now there is a way to link that together, but I don't quite know how to do it. So that'll do for us. And let's see. Next, we're going to want to uh, start building the big shooter, as it's commonly known. Okay, uh, that'll be the end of part 60. I'll see you in part 61.